Hallelujah, praise master Jesus. Welcome to Purpose and Marita Bliss with Pastor Honorine. I have a word to share with you. I have a word for someone. God says he wants to have a date with you. He's missing you so much. He misses you so much. He wants to have a date with you. He misses you so much. This word is coming to us from the book of Mark chapter 3 and verse 14. And, and the Bible says, Jesus appointed the apostles. He appointed the 12 first to be with him continually. And then so he could send them to, to, to preach the gospel to the, to, to, to the world. So he called them first to be with him. The Bible also tells us in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 9. He says, God is faithful by whom we were called into the fellowship of his son Jesus our Lord. God is faithful by, who, by whom we were called into the fellowship. We were called into fellowship. And then when we get to 2 Corinthians, he says that the, the, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God and the, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. The fellowship is supposed to, being is supposed to be with the Holy Spirit. In other words, it's talking about fellowshipping with the Holy Spirit. God called you first to be with him. So what is more important than what everything you ever have to do for God is you are being with him. He says, the word says, he says he wants to have a date with you. He misses you so much. God says you have been too busy for him. God says you have been doing having time for everyone except for him god says you have been doing every other thing except keep paying attention to him and he's beginning to feel so so neglected and so rejected he wants to have a date with you he says he loves you that much and he doesn't he, he doesn't want to lose you he loves you so much he doesn't want this feeling he's feeling a void by reason of you are staying away from him do you know how important being with god or fellowshipping with god is the bible says after everything that god created Adam to do in the garden of Eden. God still made out time to come in the cool of the day to just fellowship with him, to just be with him. And even the fact, after the fact that Adam fell, after they ate of the forbidden fruit, God is all knowing. So I believe God must, he is all seeing, he is all knowing. So I believe he must have seen that they had eaten of the fruit. But that did not stop God from coming to be with them. That did not stop God from coming to fellowship. He still came, but unfortunately he didn't see them in the position where he normally kept them. So they in their position of fellowship. He says he was coming and he began to call out, Adam, where are you? Adam, where are you? It's not about sin. It's not because it's not about you falling. God says, even when you fall, do not run away from him, run to him. He would he can he can withstand you falling, but he cannot withstand you not being with him. You know why? Because he knows if only you can tarry with him, if only you can be with him long enough, he will deal with the problem of sin. He will strengthen you back, he will help you out of that mess. If only you can be with him. God says he misses you so much. He wants to have a date with you. Fellowshipping with you is that important. He says you've got to, to give him a little more attention. He says he's getting too jealous. Sitting there at his feet is more important to him. Just sitting there at his feet is more important to him than every other thing that you would ever do. Than every other service you ever render. Than all, that, than all the souls that you ever win. It is first to be with him before you can preach to another. It is first to be with him before you can serve in his house. It is first to, to, to be with him before you can do any other thing that he asks you to do. It is first. The first and the most important is for you to be with him. Because it is in you being with him that he will give you the manual for your life. The direction that you need to carry out that, that project, to carry out that assignment. It is when you are with him. The Bible tells us in the book of Luke about Jesus visiting a family that, that had two sisters, one Martha and the other Mary. And the Bible says when Martha received Jesus into the house, Martha leaves Jesus in the sitting room and goes to the kitchen to prepare food. Was she doing something bad? Definitely not. She was trying to prepare food. She wanted to give the master a grand reception. 
But then there was another sister, Mary, who sat, who just decided to be with Jesus, who sat with Jesus. And at some point, Martha felt offended that Mary had abandoned her to do all the work. And the Bible says she came to Jesus and said, don't you care that Mary has abandoned me to do every work? And Jesus looked at him and said, Martha, Martha, Martha. He says, you have, this is your problem. Your problem is that you are worried about so many things. He says, but only one thing is important. Only one thing is expedient only one thing is advantageous to you and it is and mary has chosen that thing because that thing what is most advantageous to you is just for you to be with me it is for you to be with me and mary has chosen that and it will not be taken it cannot be taken away from her it means soul winning can be taken away god can raise another evangelist god can raise another soul winner you see that thing that you are doing that singing in the choir god can bring in another one another choir member that sings better than you god can bring in another sanctuary member that cleans the church better than you god can bring in some other person that will replace you but when you are when you be with being with him you are placed cannot be taken that's the most important because it is in your being with him that empowers you to do every other thing when you are with him that's when you get you 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 get the anointing the supernatural enablement that you need to do whatever assignment he gave you that you need to do whatever activity he gave you that you need to do every other thing that he gave you when you be with him you get equipped for every other thing. God says he misses you so much. He wants to have a debt with you. And it's not just one debt. He wants to continuously have debt with you. He doesn't like that you are getting too busy for him. He doesn't like that you are ignoring him. He doesn't like that you don't have time for him. He wants to have a debt with you. He wants to spend time with you. He wants so much to be with you. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for being a part of this family. Thank you so much for subscribing to this channel. And if you have not subscribed, if this is your first time, I love you so much. Thank you for yielding to the spirit to click on this video and if it is not your first time, thank you for coming back. And please, if you have not subscribed, do me that favor, please. It won't cost you anything. Just click on that subscription button. And then if you love it, if you if this word blessed you, why not click the notification bell as well? So that every time a new content is uploaded, you will be notified. So that every time we, 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 we are live, you will be notified. I would love to see you again. I would love to read a comment from you. I would love to read an email from you. I love you so much and welcome to the family. God bless you. Shalom.